Now that we know the difference between science and pseudoscience, let's look at what makes science credible and what some of the red flags are associated with pseudoscience. For example, science is quantifiable, meaning that you can measure the effects and the forces in your experiment, whereas pseudoscience is unquantifiable. Science explains phenomena as resulting from natural forces, whereas pseudoscience explains it as resulting from supernatural or paranormal forces. This is partially why it is unquantifiable. Science follows the scientific method, where you begin with a hypothesis and end with a conclusion. Whereas pseudoscience begins with a conclusion, then cherry picks evidences to support it. This confirmation bias is when you dismiss any evidence that does not support your conclusion. Science follows the rule of parsimony, which is keeping it simple stupid. If there is an explanation for something, Usually, the simplest one is the most correct. During experiment, science has good methodology, including controls, adequate sample sizes, and double-blind studies, whereas pseudoscience does not, meaning that the effects measured are usually a placebo effect. Science has repeatable experiments and publishes in peer reviews where the peers can duplicate the study. However, pseudoscience does not and usually does not share its data to allow peer review. Science uses precise terminology, things that are quantifiable, whereas pseudoscience does not. There is no way to quantify energy or powers. In pseudoscience, you will often hear, scientifically proven, whereas science in reality works in statistical probabilities, meaning that even if we accept our hypothesis, we don't say that. We say that we fail to reject it. Science is conservative on its claims. However, pseudoscience is not, and its conclusions usually go beyond the evidence, such as the idea of cancer cures. Science uses the empiricist view, whereas pseudoscience uses the rationalist view. In the rationalist view, if you reason something, then it must be true. But in the empiricist view, you must have empirical evidence for something to be considered true. Logical fallacies are other red flags to watch out for. When someone is arguing something, if they use a logical fallacy, it means that the argument is not sound. An appeal to authority means that you use celebrities or fancy terminology to give your idea substance. Argumentum ad hominem is basically name calling your opponent or otherwise degrading the person. Appeal to tradition is the idea that if something is ancient, it must be correct. Appeal to nature is thinking that something that's natural or organic or pesticide-free is better. 
appeal to emotion is something found on PETA and other advertisements. And remember that correlation does not equal causation. Just because you see a pattern or that something happened right before the phenomenon occurred does not mean that is what caused it. Now, let's test our understanding of these logical fallacies and other red flags. Looking at a mock infomercial for something that I'm trying to sell. I'll give you a hint. First off, I'm trying to sell you something. Hello, I'm Dr. Beals, and I can't wait to introduce you to the latest technology available to help boost your immune system, detoxify your body, help your body heal and purify its own cells, remove cancer, uh, destroy AIDS and HIV, increase your overall energy, and heighten your vibration. Science has proven this new technology to be 100% effective. This biotechnology is 100% natural, organic, chemical free, additive free, preservative free, and substance free. In fact, I'm wearing it right now and you can't even tell. But you can tell because I'm the most beautiful and popular out of all of my friends. We don't need any controls in our study because we can see how well this biotechnology works on its own. This biotechnology could be the next link to flying to Mars and it can increase your memory up to 350%. Don't let Big Pharma take your money. We don't stoop that low to send our studies into journals and get them peer reviewed because Big Pharma is out there to squish us down. We've been collecting this ancient wisdom and anecdotal testimonials to satisfy you. In conclusion, next time you see something that is just too good to be true, when in doubt, check it out. Use your critical thinking skills. Research more about the topic and watch out for red flags such as these ones. They're usually trying to cover something up or make money. Thank you.